over the world shed a tear when we last saw Kerry, Miranda, Samantha and Charlotte on our screens. But they're coming back to the big screen soon and we're on the streets to find out whether you're looking forward to seeing them again and to find out who your favourite girl is. What have you been missing about Sex in the City? And the dresses, Carrie's dresses and her shoes. <laughs> well, it does have kind of cult stars. So I do get slagged off for not watching it and not knowing what's going on. Why yeah. Samantha your favourite? Because she, because she didn't have any um, inhibitions at all at any time of the day. My interview with Ashton Kutcher and Rob Corddry has to go down as one of the most fun and craziest interviews ever. I felt like I was on the set of Pumped. The best bit for me though was getting to sit on Ashton's lap afterwards for a photo. You can check that one out on our website. In the meantime, get ready for a little madness as I chat to Ashton and his What Happens in Vegas co-star, Rob Corddry. My mother's maiden name is Finnegan. Okay, so there's an Irish connection. So I might be a little Irish. Where's she from? My mother's maiden name is Sullivan. Get out. Are yeah. you lying? Yeah. Okay. Sullivan and uh, Finnegan. Sullivan and Finnegan. Together <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah, well, I want to talk to you about an Irish one. They're going to be lucky charms. Were there any wild nights? In Vegas, there was one. Can you tell us about it? Uh, Do you I don't remember, remember it? it? That's kind of part of the issue. Like, I know I woke up with a lot less money. We're at the premiere of U23D. I'm so excited. This is a dream come true for me. I finally get to chat to Bono, Edge, Larry Mullen and Adam Clayton. I can't wait. What's it like seeing yourself on the big screen? It, it, look, it's taken me 20 years to get photographers to make me look this tall. If you thought our heads were big, wait, wait till we get to the IMAX. Whose idea was it to turn a tour into a movie, a 3D movie at that? Well, I, I can say that it wasn't our idea. Earlier on in the year, I was lucky enough to catch up with Uma Thurman to talk to her about her movie, The Accidental Husband. She is so down to earth and as gorgeous in real life as she's on the big screen. Let's check out what she had to say. In the movie, Emma's a love doctor and she gives love advice to people across New York. Um, what's the best piece of advice, romantic or otherwise, that you've ever given or that you've ever received? Well, in the movie, I give wonderful, empowering, pro-woman, you know, <laughs> find the right mate, excellent advice, which slightly backfires on the character. But I have to say, in real life, I probably have never taken advice that I should have. Do any of us <laughs> I think none of us do. Um, you know, I don't think passionate people take advice. OK, based on the video game, yep. which was hugely popular. Hugely successful video game. Um, but that's all about, about killing and all the rest of it. Not much storyline in video games, so how do they manage in well, this? Well, see, that's what's amazing about this. It was a video game that had huge storylines and the sets were quite cinematic, so it was perfect for TV. Mm -hmm. Basically, Max Payne, played by Mark Wahlberg, has, his family's been brutally murdered and he's seeking to avenge their death. Okay. So, you Troubled know, cop. On yeah, during the day he's vendetta. working in the dungeon, you know, on right. cold cases. After hours, he goes into the deep, seedy underworld. So, okay, I, I've seen some of the, the the ads on TV and in the cinema recently. It looks very spectacular. I'm sure everything gets blown up and most people die. Um, <laughs> he got it in one mark. <laughs> Being in this business for a while now, do you still get excited? By I it? think I'm more excited by the business now than I've ever been because there's so many different facets of the business. There's so much opportunity. Um, there's so many big and small films going on so uh, I'm I have to say that I'm I can't believe I have been in the business as long as I have but I, I'm enjoying it more than ever you know everyone's talking about the fact that this is a stoner comedy yeah. I say this is a bit of a, a male Thelma and Louise yeah that's a male good way bonding. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what's yeah. your take I, I love the fact that it's you know about the friend male friendships and men falling in love with each other as well what's your take in a sense yeah uh, falling in like, you know? Falling in like with each other. We one day might be in love. <laughs> um, We're open to it. The stars are starting to arrive for the premiere of In Bruges. starting to get very excited now. So does that mean you have some big nights while you're in Bruges? No, no, no. I only have little nights now. Oh little nights that go by without any fanfare. <laughs> Solitude for me from here on in, I'm afraid. Even while you're here in Dublin? No, I'll see tonight? how my mates and my family Oh, yeah, we'll go out tonight and see what the crack friends, is. Family and friends here tonight. Yeah, please. all of them. Yeah. Brilliant. Enjoy your yeah, night. Yeah, thanks, look. You've also um, been awarded the Volta. Yeah. How do you go from teaching to this position here? I'm sure there's a lot of teachers wanting to know. Well, I guess, I think it's, a, in my opinion, it's the same profession anyway. Um, you're trying to do pretty much the same things. Um, 
so no, this is great. I mean, having this happen in your hometown is a uh, is a kind of a pretty special one. Lou Ferrigno, American with an Italian sounding name. Eric Banner, Australian. Edward Norton is the American version. I reckon we can find Ireland's own incredible Hulk. We're here at Body Burn Fitness in Dublin to find out if that's true. Boys, are you ready to be put to the test? Okay, the final test is to see whether these lads can make me feel safe. Can you? I think they can. I'm feeling pretty relaxed up here. I think we've found Ireland's incredible hole. But if you want to see Edward Norton's version, it's in cinemas on June 13. For now, check out the trailer.